Hey there, this is Nick Phelps, Principal Technologist with Moonrock Consulting, and today I'm here to talk to you about VMware NSX and Cisco ACI. Before I do that, we're going to take a quick trip down memory lane to May of 2015, where we did a video entitled VMware NSX versus Cisco ACI. And in that video, we made a couple controversial predictions, and, and what I'll, I'll go into those a little bit. We talked about how ideally, um, Cisco ACI and VMware NSX would not be an either-or type of a discussion. We also talked about how the most common question that we got from our base of clients was, what is my SDN solution for 2016 and beyond going to look like? Is it VMware NSX or is it Cisco ACI? And I was of the opinion that in an ideal world, it wouldn't be an either-or discussion. That Cisco ACI, in fact, quite well complemented the feature sets of VMware NSX, and that one could really support the other, and that depending on the competencies that existed within your team and your existing deployment of different technologies, you could more heavily leverage one or the other, but the most important point we made was that they could be used together. Now, we're going to flash forward a little bit to uh, February of 2016 to Cisco Live Berlin, where an announcement was made that supports exactly that idea, and we're going to talk about it a little bit. Just a couple of weeks ago in Berlin, Cisco held their annual Cisco Live, where in a number of sessions they talked about overlay networks and Cisco ACI. The important thing to note there is that there was a breakout document that we will link to in the description of this video that talks about exactly what we made a prediction of last year, which is not just overlay networks being supported in ACI, they quite specifically named VMware NSX. And this is really exciting and I'll tell you why. This actually creates a whole, uh, whole ecosystem of potential overlay networks for Cisco ACI, number one. And it also eliminates the either-or discussion and allows us as a partner to more effectively navigate the waters with, with you, our customer, on how to more effectively leverage these two technologies together. Now, what are these use cases? Why would you use Cisco ACI? Um, you know, based on the Nexus you know, 9K platform, along with VMware NSX. Well, we're going to explore those with you over the next couple of videos. Um, we're going to do um, a, a number of videos after this, diving into those use cases. The first of which is going to be exploring heavily utilizing Cisco ACI with an overlay of VMware NSX, and, and, and more heavily leveraging the feature sets inside of Cisco ACI. And then we're going to explore the opposite, where we're going to look at more heavily leveraging the feature sets within VMware NSX on top of the fabric automation feature sets that exist with inside of Cisco ACI. Now, you're going to ask yourself, why would you leverage one more heavily than the other? Why would you use both of them together? Why wouldn't you use one or the other? And we'll talk about those things in this next series of videos and dive into exactly why um, you, you would leverage those technologies in that fashion. Uh, maybe you have a more uh, mature networking team and a more heavily invested Cisco uh, infrastructure. Well, that would make sense then that you naturally go the progression of more heavily leveraging Cisco ACI to accomplish the goals that you need to that support these use cases. Maybe the opposite is true. Maybe you have a more mature virtualization team and you'd like to task them with the implementation of micro segmentation and application portability and east to west security policies within your infrastructure and let your network team handle the underlay network and provide the reliable backbone and the rock solid infrastructure that VMware NSX requires in order to be successful. So we're going to explore those use cases and more in the next series of these videos. We hope to see you back. Thanks for watching.